What is up guys and welcome to episode number 12 possibly of Riot Returns. We've got a bumper episode, we've got the four, episode, uh, four game episode. We're going to be playing Cardiff, Rotherham, Forest and Blackpool in this episode. So uh, we're going into the tactics, obviously we've had three games in pretty much a week so we've got some tired players out there. So we've had to make a couple of changes, uh, still the fitness of the squad isn't amazing but it's there or thereabouts. Obviously we've got uh, Clayton Donaldson and Lloyd Doyley out on international duty, along with uh, Nicky Maynard, but he's, no sorry, he's not out on international duty, he's eligible because he plays for Cardiff. Uh, in the in the last couple of days, I actually really want to uh, develop my youth, oh god, no, not that yet, um, oh, it's going all over the place, I want to develop my youth, and I was having a little look around, and uh, I wasn't particularly happy with what I saw when I set up my youth development initially. Uh, they're going to, we're going to try and get an athletic club abroad so we can get some more scouting knowledge in. Uh, scouting 4% world knowledge isn't good enough. So I've been to the staff. We're going to try and increase our youth development. So Lynn Timerson, Lind, Lindon Tomlinson, who's already here, has got 20 with working with youth, which is unbelievable. Um, we've, I've actually sacked Mark Sale, who came with us, um, and we're going to appoint a new head of youth development who's going to come in here. I am currently going to put a new manager a new manager of the under 21s and that's going to be John Owens because he's got 18 working with youngsters and he can spot their potential. So we're going to try and build we're signing a few new uh, staff members on the transfers. I don't know if it will show you. Yeah, Bill Hendry because he's got 20 working with youth 16 15 on the player abilities. 15 15 20 John Murtra and then uh, we're going to sign this scout because he's got a uh, good knowledge of France and Cap Verde Islands. So we're going to give him a go. Uh, in other news, we actually looked at Zigic for the first time. He played in uh, under-21 games, which I attended, which was I uh, had to arrange a friendly against Blackpool to see him play. He actually done really well. They won the game 2-1 and he scored both the goals. He was quite impressive. Another player who was quite impressive was this lad, Naziri. He was impressive, but his stats are absolutely shocking. So there's no chance we're going to be seeing him in the starting a lineup anytime soon. But it was nice to see a good performance from one of the young lads. We've also got, with the striker situation, we have got a lad called Denny Johnston, who was at the club from the start of this season. And I don't know if I'll be able to show his under-21 performance so far. It'll be on... Uh, where would it be? Report stats, there we go. So let's have a look if we can find it. Is this the under 21s? So he scored 7 in 7 in the under 21s. So that's. Is that definitely under 21 league? Yeah. So the under 21 league, he scored 7 in 7 with an assist. So I'm actually thinking about starting him in this game against Cardiff uh, and seeing how he pulls it off because he hasn't had a chance really to play so far this season. Why not give him a go? Uh, just trying to have a look at his best position, really. Possibly, he'll probably go adv advance forward and see how he does there. Put him up there, and let's give this a go. Now we've got a corner here with a chance if we can work something. And here is Johnston inside the box. He has a dig, and it's good from him. And he's got another chance, and he lays off to Gleason, who we've put on for David Davis because he was lacking fitness. And it's Stephen Gleason with his first goal for the club, and Blues have the lead. Probably should have mentioned it was probably a bit harsh on Wes Thomas to miss out. He started the season really well, but he did tail off. And I like the idea of Johnson because he's in form at the moment. They've, of course, got Makeda up front, who is a good player for them. He used to play for us last season. He scored 10 in 18 games for us on loan, so we're going to have to be careful of him. And uh, we're edging towards half-time in this one. Uh, we'll take this at half-time, a 1-0 lead against Cardiff. They're a very, very good side. So we'll look to try and shore it up in the second half if we can find a way to do so. We make it into half-time and we've done okay. We've had 56% of the possession, so we've played well. There's always room for improvement. Happy for Gleason to get his uh, first goal. Of course, we've got David Edgar, who's not ideally located in that position, but he's doing okay and you, know, you can't really change it so far unless we get an injury or something. So Callis has got the ball down on this... Uh, Right hand side, and Boo's going to try and work something in the middle. He finds Johnston, he finds Damari Gray. Damari Gray skinned his man then, but he cut back inside, which is frustrating. He finds McLeod in the edge of the box. 
Jay Spearing, can he get a shot off? We'll find Gleason. Robinson, nice little play from Blues on the edge of the box, but they've lost the ball now. And there's going to be a chance for uh, Cardiff to come away, but they didn't. And it's good covering from Cardiff. And Blues looking to start another attack through McLeod. He finds Damari Gray, and the ball's away again. But a long ball up to Johnson, and it falls to Denny Johnston. And Denny Johnston gets his goal. The man that I decided to play instead of Wes Thompson. And it's a missed header, but a great ball from David Edgar. And the ball falls to Johnston, and he makes absolutely no mistake. Blues have a two-goal lead here, and I'm absolutely delighted with that. But the long throw comes in, and it's flicked on David Noon. Is it David Noon? Craig Noon even scores, and he scores his second goal of the season. And all of a sudden, when we look to have a bit of breathing space, we've been pegged back instantly. Pegged back to 2-1, of course, I meant. But there's a massive chance. He looks majorly offside there. Adam LaFondra looked massively offside, but he scored his 150th career goal, and it is going to count. It's all square now, and we're massively, massively disappointed with that. We've got to go and try and attack them now in these last 15. And Duffy, free kick chance, hits straight at the wall, but it comes back to Duffy, and Gleason's in there looking for his second of the game. Cleared away, but only as far as Robbo, and Robbo now has got to look for... One of the shittest passes I've ever seen. And it's straight to Makeda. And Makeda, the man who was on loan at Blues last season, finds Harris. He skips past a man. And Blues are going to lose this one unless Harris skies it, which he does. <laughs> poor, poor finish. So it looks like it's going to be 2-2. And this is going to be the end of the chance. I was impressed with Johnston's finish. But we have really let this one slip. A two-goal lead. And it's really, really frustrating. But it is... Oh, God giving the ball away for fun at the moment. But as long as we get the result out of it, at the end of the day, it's three games and beaten, I suppose. And there it is. Um, thrilling second half, as they say there. But it's not the result we're after. We actually played quite well. Um, it just wasn't our day, I think, is the right analysis of that game. We're going to go skip through into the next one. I'll let you know if anything happens in terms of coaches, etc. But we're still in that sixth place uh, spot. But we've missed a real opportunity because we could have gone into third. So we skipped through. We had a 14-day break between uh, the matches after the Cardiff game, between that and the Rotherham game. Uh, we blew a two-goal lead, so obviously that can stew over that for two weeks while they go away on international duty and come back stronger. We signed Murtera, uh, the, the coach, and we signed a new head of youth development, Bill Hendry. Uh, McLeod actually got injured away on international duty for Scotland, so we'll have a look at that in a minute. But uh, on the day of the game against Rotherham, look, you can see it's today, uh, Boeing City proposed a new contract, so contract renewal talks. The board wished to make it clear that they reserve the rights with just a transfer budget and wage budget without, uh, without prior consultation, which is frustrating. But uh, I think it's just to look at the you know, current vision. So I expect their current vision of the squad... Um, and they're going to offer me a new contract. Stay clear of relegation from here. Boeing City Chairman Pavos Pavlakis has offered you a new two-year contract on five grand a week. The league expectations is to stay clear of releg relegation. We have got no money and hardly any wages. So I'm going to view the offer. And what I actually want to do is try and secure myself a few more years. So I'm going to go to 2018. They don't like it. 2017. They don't like it. So we're going to take the 2016 just because I don't want to push too hard. I am happy staying at Blues. I've got an, you know, I've got another two years now to try and implement myself and then earn myself a new contract. We're going into the Rotherham game. They're bottom of the table. They haven't been playing very well at all. Um, so yeah, I've signed a new deal. I had seven months left to run, but I have earned a new uh, deal, which is absolutely brilliant. Let's go to... Rotherham and have a look at their schedule and how they've been doing. It looks grim, I'm not going to lie. They won on the opening day uh, away at uh, Derby and since then they haven't done much else. They've been getting battered and to be honest I just want to add misery onto that. So uh, we're going to get into the game and uh, hopefully batter Rotherham. So guys, then just a quick one, as I forgot to, totally forgot to uh, show you through the lineup, and I was going to go into a game without you seeing the squad. We've got Donaldson up front, Gray and Duffy, Gleeson, Davis and Spearing. That's all because your man, Lewis McLeod, who I said I'd show you, has got injured on international duty. He's going to be out three to four weeks, which is incredibly infuriating, so we lose our kind of creative spark. But Gleeson did score in that game, remember, so 
that is a bit of a bonus. We're actually struggling for right back, so Hall's going to start at right back. Um, bit of a weakened side, to be honest, but we should have enough, surely, to beat Rotherham. Chance for Blues from a corner. We love our corner set pieces. Falls to Damari Gray. He finds Clayton Donaldson, and Ben Amos cannot keep it out of the Manchester United goalkeeper. And Clayton Donaldson has his fourth goal of the season. It's only taken us ten minutes to break through against Rotherham, and that's exactly the sort of thing we needed to settle us down. Uh, Hall to Spearing. I was a bit worried when I was bigging us up that we'd beat uh, Rotherham, you know, that we should be able to secure the three points. I was going to jinx us and they're going to come away with their first win of the season. But that has really calmed us down. And Duffy's found Donaldson and Clayton Donaldson and Duffy's in the box. Donaldson falls out again and oh, it bangs off the bar. We're really going to try and assert our dominance now. Duffy, another corner set piece, and we love this set piece out to the top of the edge of the box. They don't seem to be able to get out, and Clayton Donaldson, oh, it's a good save from Amos. He's looked a certain goal, as it says down there at the bottom. He's going to come away with possession, but they can't do anything with it. Oh, no, Gleason's got injured as well. So uh, the midfield woes continue, and we're going to have to now try and find someone who's going to slot in this midfield. It's going to have to be Callum Riley. I'm going to bring Riley into here and bring Davis into the more advanced role, as I feel... That will work for us better. We have a free kick. Duffy's fan, Hancock's. Gray is offside. Can he get himself onside? He can. And here is Damari Gray. Can he have a dig? Skins one. Skin ah, he's got a penalty. Well done. Damari Gray drew the challenge from Richardson, who's already on a booking. He may have gone down slightly easy, but he's got the penalty. And Clayton Donaldson now for Blues can make it 2-0. Now, this would be exactly what we want, because then we could just control this game out, hopefully. They shouldn't have the quality to be able to peg us back from here. But we have had two goal leads. We have one other one. But we have had two goal leads and thrown them away. Noticeably last game against Cardiff. So what we need to do now is tell our side to concentrate. Which I am going to do right now. Looks like Duffy's won a free kick. And Davidas has made the challenge. He's going to get called over by the referee. And he gets a booking. What a blues. If we can score another one before half time, that should literally end the game and maybe bring on the likes of uh, Denny Johnston again to get another appearance. Here's Callum Riley looking for a pass. He goes back to Will Packwood. Hancock's moving it around nicely and he beats his man. And Frecklington has fouled uh, Mitch Hancock's. The ref's calling him over and the ref has sent him off. The ref has sent him off and they're down to 10 men. Now we really should be able to see this game out from here. We've got five minutes to half time and then really try and give some players a rest, I think, because this game from here, you can't, we should not be conceding two goals against 10 men Rotherham who haven't won all season, well, won on the opening day of the season in the bottom of the league. So hopefully we can get into half time. Here we do, and let's work on that now. We've got to make sure they don't get. Um, da -da 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 -da. Just keep your performance levels up. That's the main thing we need to do. Didn't go down particularly well because they're playing well, obviously. It's really hard because I can't bring Clayton Donson off if he scored two goals. What I can do is bring Johnson on on the right-hand side because he uh, can play on that right-hand side and Duffy is a key player and we can keep him fit now. It just gives Don uh, Denny another chance to run out, I suppose, and see if he can impress some more. Richardson into Becchio. And they have seemed to have improved here, Rotherham, so we have got to be a bit careful uh, straight to Riley, that's poor. And uh, hopefully we can rebuild an attack and he knocks it out wide. Nice, into Johnston. What can he do? Looking for a pass. Nearly loses it, gives it to Hall. Davis can work his way out, spearing. Davis, lovely play. And look at that for football from Blues. And here's Damari Gray on this left-hand side. Can he produce another ball in? It flies across the box. Denny Johnston's there. Can he pull back for someone? No, and it's cleared away. But what a lovely, inviting ball from Damari Gray that was in across the box. Cleared away towards Becchio and uh, Will Packwood ends the attack by fouling the man. David Davis, free kick on the edge of the box. Oh, and he's absolutely banged one off the top of the crossbar. I was just making a little tactical change there. Just telling them to uh, try and push on and score in a few more goals. But that was a good free kick there from David Davis. And uh, Hancock's has now got the ball grey into Hancock's. Whipped in ball. And, oh, it's in towards Johnston, but it's... Flown as far as uh, Clayton Donaldson. He gets inside the box and Clayton Donaldson wins a penalty. There's no questions who's going to be taking it. The man on a hat trick, Clayton Donaldson. He's going to step up. He won it himself. Can he secure his hat trick then? 
No, it's saved by Ben Amos. And Clayton Donaldson's going to have to wait a bit longer if he wants to secure his hat trick. He's only got 10 minutes to do so. So a really good result here. 2-0 uh, away at Rotherham. Probably the expected result and the result I expected as well. But we've still got to go out there and we've still got to go and uh, get the points. Absolutely uh, delighted to win at the New York Stadium. And that gives us a four-game and beaten run. And it's confidence building, which is the main thing. Uh, we got out of it relatively unscathed, except for that Gleason injury. A very nice result. Uh, nicely, Clayton Donaldson score too as well. Both assisted by Damari Grace. It's going to be hard to leave him out come the next game. We'll skip through to that. And uh, as you can see, we are fifth in the table. And we are edging closer to that, uh, nicking that third spot in behind uh, Forest and uh, Middlesbrough. So we'll carry on and uh, go and home, hopefully try and secure some more points. So guys, uh, third of the fourth games, we've got Forest at St Andrews. We are in good form and we face Forest, who are second in the table. Now look at this recent form. They lost their last game at 1-1-1-1 one, 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 one since uh, before that. So if we go to Forest's uh, schedule and have a look at how they've been doing. Lots of greens and yellows. Only the couple of reds. They lost in the Capital One Cup. So that wasn't even in the championship. So they are technically in beating in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 championship games. So it's not like we're the only team in good form. Uh, so let's go into the match. I'll show you the team selection that we're going to go with. Um, Gleason has had a chat. He wants to play more games. I'm going to give him more games, even though he's only on 91% fitness. But really, apart from that, Nicky Maynard, he's still there. He's still on the bench, ready to play at the uh, first opportunity. Paul Callis is going to come back in for Grant Hall. And um, we might bring Cottrell in. Uh, we're going to bring him in on the bench to start with, and then we'll have a little think about it. Shinny as well for um, Riley. Now, Damari Gray, he has been playing 7.18 in the recent games. Uh, Cottrell, before he got injured, was playing a 6.54. So he's had a little bit of drop-off in form, whereas Damari Gray has an increase in form. So we're going to stick with Damari Gray um, and hopefully get a positive result against Forrest. We've actually had more possession in this first half so far and uh, started well. Gleason nicks one across. Oh, and it's cleared away. Only as far as Caddis, though. Clayton Donaldson falls it off. And Davis and Blues have a lead. A lovely finish from David Davis. His fifth of the season. And Birmingham have a lead against second place Nottingham Forest. Good start. Chance for Forest. Long throw in. Antonio in towards Britt Asambalonga. And he's a real threat. Falls to Andy Reid. And it's off the line. Packwood away. Good, good clearance. And Blues hold on to their lead. Can we get to half time? We have the ball in Forest half. We have it through Davis. Caddis finds Gleason into Duffy. Duffy nicked off him on the edge of the box and Ziegler looking to come away with the ball. And as far as uh, Patterson, he's looking for a pass down the line. He finds Andy Reid into Asson Belonga and they've got five midfield Forest and look how quickly they get forward. Playing some really nice stuff here, Forest, and they uh, get back. We've got every man behind the ball, so we should be set for this attack. But we can't stop that long ball to Asson Belonga. It's a really good challenge, but he's still got possession and he fires one off. It's a good save from... Uh, Randolph and Packwood's there again to pick up the ball and Blues can come away with so many young players. You look at Packwood, Damari Gray, some young, young players on this team and they've been really inspirational for Blues and I hope that that's what we're going to try and build is this youth. But Forrest have all of a sudden, all over us, they've got the ball back and through Hunt, they're coming forward in towards Patterson and it's straight at Randolph again. Just got to try and get into half time here because we are under a bit of pressure. But uh, Randolph looks like he's going to come away with it. No, he don't. Can we get into half time is the question. Yeah, uh, we've had 59% of possession. We've just got to try and possibly create some more chances with it because if we can have 59% of possession create chances, then we could get a second and see this one off. This could be possibly a bit hard on uh, Stephen Gleeson. What we're going to do is we're going to bring on Edgar in the defensive midfield role, push Davis forward and uh, push Spearing into the central midfield position. We're also going to bring on Cottrell for Duffy because Duffy's carrying a knock. And hopefully that just gives, because we've got Spearing and Davis on bookings in that centre midfield, so they're going to be the ones that are going to have to make the challenges. So hopefully Edgar can do the majority of that, winning the ball for us and hopefully creating something. Instantly, Cottrell has got injured. He's come on and he's going to have to go off. That leaves Shinny. It's just nice to have so many options, because I mean, I could have brought Nicky Maynard on. In fact, Nicky Maynard, did he used to play for Forest? I've got a sneaky feeling he did at some stage. No, he didn't. I was going to say, if he played for Forest, he could have possibly bought him on. 
I'm trying to work out what the best idea here is. Shinny, I think, on the right-hand side as more of a central midfield role in case we come under pressure and we need him to track back. So that's the role we're going to go with. Instead of having Donaldson on the right and Maynard up front, we have another corner here. Spearing and he finds it, fires it to the edge of the box to Mari Gray. A little reverse ball would go down well. Or to Clayton Donaldson. And Clayton Donaldson makes it to the corner. Set pieces are OP, but they're working. And if they don't try and defend them, I'm going to keep uh, exploiting them. Clayton Donaldson puts us 2-0 up. And to be honest, it's not undeserved. Look at the stats. 59% possession and 20 minutes to go. Come on, Blues. This will be a massive win. So we're into the closing stages here at St Andrews. And we have a massive two-goal lead over Forest. In terms of pegging them back, this is going to be an absolutely massive result as well. Because they're going to drop points and we're going to gain points. So it's the typical six-pointer, as they say. Uh, Forest coming forward here with five seconds to go. So even if they score here, they haven't scored here. We've kept a clean sheet against Forest, And that is a real sign, even, of intent. I'm absolutely delighted with the performance. A real nice victory. Clayton Donaldson and David Davis with the goals. David's got player of the match. And that is absolutely massive. We are moving up the table now. We're still in fifth place. But look at this. Look at this. We are really, really starting to catch up with Forest and Middlesbrough. We're now only, what, six points away, seven points away from going level with them. And in terms of uh, Norwich and Charlton, they are only a point ahead of us. So uh, I think we've just got to keep this run going. It's been a successful episode. I vote we get into the next match. I'll uh, show you the team lineup and... We'll go from there. This is something that we couldn't uh, overwrite in this episode, really. We've been playing really well, and David Davis scooped uh, Player of the Month award, followed by uh, Clayton Don Donaldson. If we have a look at the Player of the Award, um, obviously got Asson Belonga won it in the first month, but uh, Lewis McLeod actually came second. Um, Nicky Maynard came third in September. Uh, nothing in... October, but this month we've got Clayton Donaldson and David Davis who fought out for that um, Player of the Month. And then uh, Young Player of the Month, Lewis McLeod, actually has won it twice. And um, this month we didn't have anything because Lewis McLeod was injured, basically. But I have actually won Manager of the Month, which is an amazing achievement. We beat Wolves, we beat Watford, we drew to Cardiff, we beat Rotherham and we beat Forest. A really, really good month and it's seen us stay up top of the uh, Skybet Championship, which is really, really good place to be at the moment, and we are creeping towards the top. We can keep these results going. The last episode, the last, sorry, the last game in the episode is going to be Blackpool. Um, if you look at Blackpool here, they are in the relegation zone. Obviously, they can move higher, so they've got incentive to play for. But once again, we're at the top and they're at the bottom. We've really, really got to try and push it and try and get another three points. So let's go and have a look at the team. And here is the squad. We have major, major problems. We've got Paul Callis injured, Jay Spearing injured, and Damari Gray. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to bring Edgar into that role that Spearing plays. And then look at possibly David Cottrell coming in. One of the first times this season. I think it might be the first time, second time, that Cottrell and Duffy will have played together. But Mark Duffy is actually struggling on 88% fitness. So it's getting really tough now to start picking the squad. Uh, we can bring in uh, Erdley for Cadiz. I mean, the, the balance of the squad hasn't actually changed too much. It's just, it's very hard when you lose some big players. You look at the players we're missing. Cadiz has played most of the games this season. Spearing and McLeod have also played most of the games this season. Uh, Damari Gray, who played incredibly well in the last match. So it's whether we bring Denny Johnston into the equation and put him on the right hand side. I think that's what we're going to do, um, but keep... Duffy on the bench in case we need to uh, score for <laughs> whatever reason. But we are playing Blackpool, and at the end of the day, they're down the bottom. We've really, really got to try and impose ourselves like we did against Doncaster. We're on a good run of form, and there's no reason we can't do that. So it looks like we've had an absolutely shocking first half. We've had more possession, but nothing has happened. I promise you there's been no attacks. Look, as you can see down that bottom there, uh, really, really poor. Um, I'm not happy with the performance and I'm going to let them know that and it is possibly time for a change because Blackpool are down the bottom at the end of the day and for us not even to be able to push on to them and try and create something I'm not bothered that we haven't scored because that happens but Duffy's going to come on I'm going to give him a go and uh, have a look how it goes and then process in fact I'm going to bring Maynard on as well straight away for Donaldson I just want to try something different and hopefully try and create a goal 
So finally, there's an opportunity in this game that's worth looking at, and uh, Oriol knocks it back to Peter Ramage. He played for us a couple of years ago, and it's a poor ball, and uh, Edgar wins it. Gleason he finds Nicky Maynard. It's a shocking ball, though, and he blues about to rebuild the attack. The whole pace of the attack is broken down. Davis with a poor ball now, and here's Delfonso and Blackpool. They're looking, they're getting a nosebleed going this far up the pitch, but they're going to have a real opportunity here unless Early can make the challenge, and he does. And he fires one out to Duffy, but unless he's going to take on the whole team, he's not really going to go anywhere. But he finds Nicky Maynard, and now Nicky Maynard looking to move forward for Blues. Cottrell, can we create something? We haven't created anything in this game so far. Nicky Maynard tries to skin another, and the ball's played through to Nathan D'Alfonso, and Lloyd Doyley's tripped him, and Lloyd Doyley's going to be taking the walk here. I'm pretty sure Lloyd Doyley's going to be taking a walk. He is. And uh, I don't really know why you're running over there, Hancocks, because it's, it's a definite sending off, to be honest. The lad was through on goal. But that's going to make the, the uh, situation more difficult for us with half an hour to go, and we're probably going to have to think about dropping Edgar in here. And then I think that situation's pretty okay, to be honest. And then I'm going to bring Shinny on for um, Cottrell, sorry and swap the two over and hope that Shinny can be the man that can create something for us. And we're down to 10 men, so obviously it's going to be a bit more difficult. Really hoping that we're going to be able to create something in these closing stages because the game has been an absolute nothing game. The only highlight was the uh, sending off. And we have got a corner in the 90th minute. Gleason Erdley's on the edge, and there's a real chance here for Blues if they can just create something. Duffy in the box, Maynard, and there goes the chance. There goes a chance, a brilliant save to be fair. But Nicky Maynard throws away the chance to win the game for Blues. And now Will Packwood's going to have to come off, which leaves us down to nine men. And these closing stages, we're going to have to be pretty careful not to... Uh, we've got to deal with nine men for one minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Shinny and Duffy and put everyone behind the ball. And... Uh, it's going to have to be more of a defensive and rigid setup, structured even setup, and hopefully we can just see see the last minute out because Nicky Maynard has absolutely thrown away a chance, and it's things like where you just regret bringing Clayton Donaldson off because you don't know whether he'd have finished it or not. We have made it to full time, would have thought, in ninety sixth. There it is. So disappointing result, I suppose, but with the sending off, we haven't lost the game. Uh, it's a point we stay unbeaten, and I suppose we were just unlucky today. Let's have a look at the uh, league table. That's going to be the final game of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. The four-game bonanza. We actually stayed and beaten in it, and we're up to fourth place. So we are nine points off the leaders, Forest, who we actually beat in our last game, as you all know. But uh, thank you all guys for watching again. I really, really I can't express how much I do uh, appreciate your support. Uh, I really like it when you post comments and leave suggestions, etc. So please continue doing that. Uh, please like, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow, guys.